بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سٹوڈنٹس دس از مسز ہمنا شہزاد لیکچرر ان انگلش فرام گورمنٹ ڈگری کالج فار ویمن دبئی محل روڈ بہاول پور اسٹوڈنٹس یو ہیو اسٹڈیڈ ٹائپس آف فریز ان پریویس لیکچر ناؤ آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو شیئر ٹائپس آف کلاز ان دس لیکچر ود یو پیپل سو لسن to that recording carefully and get the idea of types of clause here we go um, so students after doing the adverbial clauses and discussing an adverbial clause of time and adverbial clause of place we are moving to third adverbial clause type which is an adverbial clause of manner So it usually tells us how the action of the main verb of the sentence was performed and answers the question how. Manner tells you the answer of how when, when applied to the main verb of the sentence. These clauses are not introduced by any particular words. So we go through an example. Hussain passed his examination as well all ex as we all expected him to do. So Hussain passed his examination This is the main clause of the sentence, the independent or the principal clause, as we all expected him to do. This is the dependent clause or we can say that this is the adverbial clause of manner because he passed, how he passed, as we all expected him to do. So this junior clause, this dependent clause answers the question or tells us the manner of how he passed the exam. So we are linking this uh, dependent clause with the action of the main clause. Passed as we all expected him to go to do. So this describes the manner of the verb. And after this, let's see its description. The main verb of this sentence is passed and when the question how is applied to it, we get the answer as we all expected him to do. This is an adverbial clause of manner modifying the verb past. So after this third type, we are moving to the fourth type of an adverbial clause, which is an adverbial clause of reason or cause. Usually answers the question why when applied to the main verb of the sentence and is usually introduced by such words as because, since, as, that, in that, seeing that. So we go through an example. The visiting team won the game because they were better players. So the main verb of the sentence is won. The visiting team won. This is the subject phrase of the main clause. Won is the main verb of this clause, the game. So together this is the main clause of the complex sentence. The visiting team won the game and uh, reason because why they won the game because they were better players so this is dependent clause subordinate clause and defines this main verb so answers the reason the visiting team won why because they were better players so the main verb of the sentence is won and when the question why is applied to it the answer is because they were better players this is therefore an adverbial clause of reason modifying the verb won there are further uh, categories of the adverbial clauses also which i'm not going to make you go through because it can further confuse you so um, by this time only uh, going through the four uh, types of adverbial clauses is enough so now we next move to our next clause which is noun clauses as the name of the noun clause implies it stands in place of a noun either as the subject of a sentence or as the object it is however most commonly used in the objective form and answers the question what when applied to the main verb of the sentence it is used after such verbs as tell say hope ask know and think so all these things will become clear to us when we will go through the examples so we go through the example we do not know what we do not know why he failed his examination so we do not know is the main clause this is the main clause of the sentence this uh, complex uh, structure carries two clauses one is main clause and the next is the 
dependent clause why he failed his examination so dear students if we analyze this sentence structure i tell you that we is the subject of the main clause and do not know is the uh, verb phrase of the main clause and next as our sentence structure carries subject which is we after that there is verb phrase do not know after which there should come naturally an object and this object will also be a noun so anything that will overlap this place that will cover this place will uh, be in the sentence it is why he failed his examination so the, uh, this is coming at the place of object so here our uh, noun clause is coming on the place of object and this is so it will be objective noun clause getting this we go to, through the next example he thinks that he will pass it next year so he thinks is the main clause of the complex structure and what he thinks main clause and the uh, what it answers that he will pass it next year so what again we analyze its structure this is subject of the main clause thinks is the verb of the main clause and next place will obviously be object subject verb object will complete the structure of a sentence so at the place of object there comes this whole clause that he will pass it next year so this is objective noun clause this kind of clause is used a great deal in reported speech when relating when a person wrote or said in the past so students here in these examples we have seen that the um, noun clause is coming as an object of the uh, ob object of the sentence so uh, we see its other place as well which is of a subject so we go through when used as the subject of a sentence the noun clause may begin with the words like how that when why where and if but care must be taken here since these words often introduce other kinds of clauses also students we go through the example when noun clause is placed in as at the place of a subject how he knew my name is a mystery to me so how he knew my name is the subordinate clause because it takes a connector in the beginning so is a mystery to me this is the main clause of a sentence or main clause the principal clause and having the so, um, subordinate clause in the beginning at the place of a subject so uh, students how you can understand the noun clause basically is when you know the sense of picking the main verb of a sentence only then you can detect which is our subordinate clause and which is our main clause if we analyze its structure we see that this is verb and it should naturally have a subject in the beginning and this place is being occupied by this clause so this is our noun clause at the place of a subject before verb there comes a subject so this whole clause is coming at the place of a subject so it is a noun clause how he knew my name is a mystery to me is is the main verb of the principal clause is a mystery to me this is obviously the objective phrase so now we analyze the next sentence where he was to get the money from was a matter of utmost concern to him so where he was to get the money from this is whole clause starting again with the connector where he was to get the money from subjective noun clause subjective because this is noun clause and subjective because it is coming it is used at the place of a subject was a matter of utmost concern to him so what is the main verb of the principal clause it is this one was not this because this verb is used for the sentence which has a connector in the beginning so whenever a connector is used in the beginning of of that clause that clause works as a subordinate or a junior clause it cannot be considered as the main clause so the next clause is was a matter of utmost uh, concern to him this is the remaining part of the main clause and what is the subject before the verb there is the place of the subject is occupied by this clause so this is 
regarded as the noun clause and subjective noun clause because it occupies the place of a subject so here i think student you would have understood it dear students one more thing is to be cleared that how a noun clause differs from the adjectival clause an answer is that an adjectival clause defines an already existing noun in a sentence whereas a noun clause itself performs the function of a sentence so i hope that this lecture would have given you some help to understand the concept of clauses so keep revising it and take care